coming up on this week, we take a look at student fees. Thomas Edison visits campus. Early registration is underway and the Beatles are coming to campus. Welcome to This Week, I'm Alexis. Student fees are always a controversial subject in college. Students argue about why they have to pay certain fees and others want to know what is the benefit received from student fees. We decide to take an LSU unit student's fee bill and explain what each fee covers. For example, the student media fee used to cover the printing of an LSU e student newspaper. But when students lost interest in reading the newspaper, we moved to this newscast. The small fee collected each semester allows us to buy the equipment needed to produce this newscast and other video projects on campus. Michaela will break down the other fees. Alexis covered the student media fee you see on your fee bill. Now let's look at nine other fees that regularly get charged to the student when registering for classes. The academic excellence fee is used to promote academic excellence on the LSU Eunice campus by enhancing instructional programs. That includes the hiring of faculty to teach additional course sections needed to meet students' needs, operation of instructional facilities, and support services of the academic area. The building use fee was authorized by Louisiana House Bill 671 in 2013. The bill authorized the LSU Board of Supervisors to impose certain fees at each institution. At LSU units, the fee is used to construct, repair, maintain, operate, or improve the facilities of the campus. The energy surcharge is used to meet energy costs and exceed the university's allotted energy budget. Assistant to the Vice Chancellor of Business Affairs, Donnie Thibodeau explains. We have basically three main expenses for utilities, uh, electricity, water, and gas. There is a formula that we use to calculate how much the energy surcharge is applicable to be used towards paying those bills on a monthly basis. Typically what happens is that fund is used up and zero out every year. If there is a surplus, that surplus is carried over to the following year and the hourly rate is then reduced accordingly. The operational fee was imposed by the 2004 legislature to cover unfunded state mandates. This includes increases in the retirement system costs, health insurance costs not funded through the state, and the enhancement of instructional programs at the university. The SGA fee helps the student government sponsors program like the Miss LSUE pageant, travel to leadership conferences, social events such as Bingo Bash, tailgating for LSU Homecoming, Constitution Day, and the political forum held this year with the Eunice Chamber of Commerce. The student union fee is for the maintenance, renovation, and operating of the campus student union. For a better understanding of the student activity fees, we sat down with CAP Vice President Lisa Brunet. So the LSUE Campus Activity Board uses the student activity fee money to help sponsor the activities such as um, the Welcome Week, the Well Reds that just came, and the Howling Bash that is coming up. We also co-sponsor with the LSUE Performing Arts Series and SGA and the Recreation Center like the Intramural Volleyball and the Flag Football. The Athletic Fee helps to cover the day-to-day -day expenses of running three successful athletic programs. A benefit of paying the fee is that students are allowed into any bingo game for free with their ID. The technology fee is solely for the purpose of supporting and enhancing the student's educational studies. The fee covers numerous items such as computer lab supplies and repairs, software licenses, the campus internet connection, and smart thinking online tutoring license. The fee does not cover repairs and upgrades of faculty or staff computers, but only computers and labs are for instructional use. An upcoming benefit of the fee will soon let students have free access to Microsoft Office Professional for up to five devices and unlimited Google Drive space. We'll keep you posted when those become available. A portion of the technology fee also goes to cover the Lewis Library System. Lewis funding and our membership fees um, came through the Board of Regents. And of course, the Board of Regents, like higher education institutions, sustained uh, tremendous cuts which were passed on to the Lewis Library Network, a, a consortium of higher education libraries operating here in the state of Louisiana for 25 years, a successful cons consortium, uh, a highly touted consortium, uh, giving value, adding value, delivering lots of information, and getting good value. For instance, 
here at LSU Eunice, our fees have gone up over the course of the last five years. This current year, we've gone since I've been here from $10,000 a year to $48,000 this year. That fee will be split between the library and the student technology fee, and I'll explain more of that later. So we're each paying $24,000 this year. What are we getting for that $24,000? What is the value? Technically, and from a financial standpoint, our investment of $48,122, the turnaround on that is $870,000 if we had to go out on the market and buy those resources from individual information providers on an individual library, library by library base, basis. That's a look at what each student fee covers and a brief look at the benefits each fee provides students at LSU Eunice. Back to you, Alexis. Thanks, Michaela. Early registration is underway for the spring 2015 semester and for the fall intercession. Interim Registrar Dr. Ken Elliott explains the importance of registering early. Registration for the fall intercession and uh, the spring semester 2015 has already begun. Uh, I'd encourage all students to register as early as they possibly can. This way they can get the schedule they want. Sometimes courses can close up because of the number of students who uh, want to take it. If you register early, you'll be able to get, uh, you're more, much more likely to get the schedule that you want um, rather than to be inconvenienced by a schedule that you don't want. Early registration for the spring ends January 2nd. Fees must be paid by then or your classes will be dropped and you'll have to register in the regular registration session. The spring semester starts January 12th. The students in the Community Engagement Program hosted the Eunice Community Gardens Harvest Fest. The students coordinated events and publicity for the event. This week, the group of students will be hosting a luncheon and tour of campus with several area legislators. Now, let's take a break and look at some important upcoming dates. The Student Government Association and the Chancellor sponsored a tailgating party at the LSU Ole Miss game. The SGA and LSU Eunice alums enjoy visiting with each other before watching LSU upset the third-ranked Rebels. To, um, Hank Finken performed his one-man show on the life of Thomas Edison as part of the LSU E Performing Arts Series. The second time I went to New Orleans, it was a more of a joyous occasion. Uh, I went down with my good friends to Gillen, to Gilliland's, to a conference. Don't ask me what the conference was about, because I went down to meet someone, Mina Miller. They had a hope she might be my next wife. You see, I was a widower. I had three children and a national reputation. That meant I had a lot of responsibilities. So I went down and met her, and I was quite smitten. The Performing Arts Series will feature the Cavern Beat next Monday at 6.30 in the Health Technology Auditorium as their final event of the fall season. The Cavern Beat is a Beatles tribute band that pays homage to the late grade band. The band stays true to Beatles by using vintage guitars and authentic Beatles suits. Former Louisiana poet laureate Daryl Bork was back on campus this week reading from his collection of poems about the life of early Creole musician Amadie Ardouin. This time our own associate professor of English Jude Mesh and his son joined Bork. We'll leave you with the video of the three performing. We'll be back in two weeks with another look at what's happening around campus. <laughs> 